Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a Factory 5 Daytona Coupe. This is a Gen 3, so the frame underneath this thing kind of looks like the Golden Gate Bridge, man. It is amazing how they built this thing. She's got Coyote power under the hood. As you can see, she's number 14 and she is looking beautiful. Love this paint, that metallic in the paint is dancing out here in the sun. Now you may be able to see a few little um, what look like polka dots down in there and that's actually the sun going through the plexiglass so there's nothing wrong with the paint in there. Um, she is a beauty man. I love all the stickers on the side. Looks just like one of the race cars back in the day. Now you might not know it but back in the day when they ran these in Le Mans one of these almost won the whole thing. It came about that close to winning. That's how badass these cars are. Now the only way to get in here is to reach in the window here open this thing up. Now it does have a removable steering wheel so it's a little easier to get in and out of there. I have no problem getting in and out of there. I'm a little over 200 pounds and almost six foot tall. I fit in there real good. We got a couple guys here at the shop that are six foot two that can get in here no problem. So there is room in this thing. You know uh, it does not have the gurney hump like, uh, like the GT40's had in them. So these guys could get in and out of them. A lot of those race car drivers were pretty big. And then back here, this is cool. It's got real glass back here. A lot of these have uh, plexiglass in the back, but that's real tempered glass. You see, it's got a stereo system. I don't know why anybody put a stereo in this thing. It's got all the stereo I need with those side pipes right there. That's what I'm gonna be listening to. Listening to that uh, thing roar. All right. I figured out there's a locking nut down here. And then we got our little dilly here. So when you push it down, she drops down, then you push that down. So to unlock it, you just give that a little twist like that. Then you push her right back down. All right, we got our fuel fill here. They used to put that big old uh, canister of gas, puts a, I don't know, 15, 18, 20, 30 gallons in right now. I mean, she's just a beauty, guys. We can ship this thing anywhere in the world. Tommy knows everything you need to know about this car, so give him a call at 248-974-9513. All right, it is Daytona time, baby. Let's go for a ride. I'm just gonna listen to the exhaust for a while. <laughs> you wanna talk about fun? Now, I have not had this one on a racetrack, but I have had one of our other Daytonas on the racetrack. And you want to talk about fun. And just driving it on the expressway, the clover leaves. I mean, she's a rocket ship and just a blast to drive. Just about everywhere you go, you are going to have somebody following you. What's so cool about these is guys who don't really know cars, everybody thinks that this is a real race car because basically it is. It's a race car you can drive on the street. So we'll make some noise. Now that's just a little bit of noise. I am just barely touching the accelerator. You want to talk about fun, man? This thing is amazing. So we can deliver it anywhere in the world. You just call us at 248-974-9513. You can see all the gauges down here on the dash all looking sweet. The car does have air conditioning. We do not have it on right now. Just a blast to drive, guys. I tell you, I can't even tell you how much fun it is to drive one of these. We had one a couple of years ago that I bet I put five or six hundred miles on it. Every car show, I went to the... Now we're going to take it back to the shop right now and put it up on the left so you can check it out. I just popped it neutral so you can hear me. I know you'd probably rather listen to this. I know I would. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get it up on the left so you can see that space frame. We're going to show you everything you need to see. And make sure you share this video with your buddies. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that.
All right, we're underneath this baby now, and man, does it look cool under here. As you can see, independent rear suspension, 8.8 .8 rear end, 342 gear, it is posi, we got coilovers holding it up, we got disc brakes out back here, everything looking brand new under here, just bright and shiny as can be. She is absolutely gorgeous. Now this is one of the newer models. It's got their new space frame underneath it. I mean, look at this. Looks like a suspension bridge, man. This thing will hold up anything. T56 trans here. We got a, a cable clutch here. Uh, extra big oil pan on the bottom side of this. Everything under here slick as can be, man. The AC compressor's mounted down here low. And what's really cool, look at this protection here they put on the front of the uh, radiator. Isn't that cool? Really, really nice job. Everything bright and shiny. Now the nose of this thing is in great shape. And to keep it that way, keep it off the curbs. The nose of this car is about that much longer than you think when you're sitting in the seat. So stay back from the curb. Up front here, got some great looking wheels. Now these knockoffs are, um, for the lack of a better word, uh, fakies. You got a set screw right here, the spinner comes off, this little section here comes off, then there's lug nuts underneath there. But man, do they look good. As you look down the side, the paint work right down to the bottom edge, just looking beautiful. We got great looking side pipes, just like all the Daytonas had on them, just looking beautiful. You can see all the paint on the bottom side looking sweet. I mean, they did a fabulous job putting this car together. Now out back here, we got 315, 35, 17s. Same good looking wheels. And again, make sure you loosen up that set screw before you try to hit that spinner off. Guys, let's lower this baby down. And look at the Coyote under the hood. Check this baby out. We got Coyote power. Look at that intake, man. Sheet metal intake looking sweet as can be. Sniper EFI there just looking absolutely gorgeous. It's got a uh, Ford uh, racing throttle body on it. I really love the way they painted everything up, all the chrome accents, all the polished up aluminum. I mean, this thing is amazing looking, guys. They did such a good job putting this in. All the wiring's nice and neat, all the plumbing's nice and neat. I mean, she is gorgeous. Let me look down here. Um, it does have uh, power rack and pinion steering. Everything looking absolutely gorgeous under here. Man, is she sharp. They did a beautiful job putting it in here. Uh, and a, the car does have air conditioning also. They did a great job with the radiator down there with two big electric fans keeping it cool. Bottom side of the hood's all uh, painted up looking good. They've got these little inner fenders here that are made out of aluminum to keep all the dirt and everything up off the engine compartment from those front wheels. I mean, she's a beauty. Take this thing anywhere. It's going to draw a crowd just because of what it is, but she's got coyote power under the hood. So call us, 248-974-9513, and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this little dream in your driveway.